This is Trina Nishimura. This is Bryce Pappenbrook. And you're watching a Toonami Faithful. Toonami Faithful. Local exclusive. This is Trina Nishimura, and I'm here at Lexington Comic and Toy Con in Lexington, Kentucky. It's 2016, and I'm super stoked to be here. I first got into voice acting uh, when I was in college. I've been an actor since I was nine years old. Uh, I started with my local community theater in Texas, and then I started touring when I was 13 years old. After that, I went to college, and I was going to be a grown-up and be very serious. That really didn't work out. Um, so I was in college. <clears throat> And I was broke. I was very good at being broke, because that's your job in college, right? Uh, and a friend of mine told me about an audition at Funimation. I was like, no, Jimmy, I'm going to be a grown-up and very serious now. And he was like, it pays. And I was like, when is it? So I went and auditioned for Desert Punk. That was my first show. It was directed by Zach Bolton, and he cast me. And I have been doing that ever since. Uh, so the acting bug just kind of bit me again, and here I am now. The audition process for Attack on Titan was just like any other audition, except that there were cameras, <laughs> so that was kind of weird. Um, <clears throat> so usually when you go into audition, you read for about three different characters. Uh, so you prepare for a few minutes, and then you go in, and you read the sides, and you audition for the uh, director. So this time, the major difference was that there was a camera crew that like met you at the door and like watched you review your sides, and then uh, talked to you before you went into audition, and then when you came out, asked you some questions, which was a little awkward, uh, but fine. I think I was wearing pajamas. I don't think I got the memo. Anyways, um, so yeah, the audition was great. Uh, I auditioned for three different characters, like I said. I auditioned for Mikasa Ackerman, uh, Sasha, and for Armin. Uh, Armin in Japan was actually voiced by a female, and so the director wanted to have a wide, ra a wide range of auditionees, uh, just to kind of see how uh, everybody, everyone's take on the character. Heading into season two, I'm really nervous. Uh, we are not allowed to read ahead or watch ahead or know anything, uh, so no spoilers at conventions. Uh, my brother has read all the manga and he's not allowed to tell me anything and I'm dying to know what happens. I am dying to know what happens. So I'm, I'm excited for season two. It should be coming out in 2016 and that's all the information that I have, which is unfortunate. Um, so hopefully in 2016 I'll be able to stop dying. How's it going? This is Bryce Pappenbrook. I'm here at Lexington Toy and Comic Con. Um, I was about eight years old. My dad was a voice actor. Uh, I pretended like I was six so I could go to work with him instead of go to school. And he was recording on Power Rangers. He was Rito Revolto, the skeleton dude on Power Rangers. And at the end of his session, um, the director said, hey, we need a kid's voice. And my dad's like, he's a kid, throw him in the booth. And I became a voice actor. I have a fourth degree black belt in American Tong Sudo. And I studied a lot of Muay Thai, competed for years. I thought I was gonna be a professional Muay Thai fighter, but uh, you take less punches to the head being in the booth. So uh, here's what I do to get ready for a session. I jump in my car, sit in traffic, and I scream at other drivers. That's it. <laughs> that's, my, that's my process. You really can't prepare too much for these kind of roles. You don't have the script ahead of time. A lot of times you go into the booth and you have no idea what characters you're recording that day. So it's a lot of just acting on your feet and improv. And even though it's, you know, you have a script in front of you, you still have to figure out the way to act in those scenes and really be that character. So there's not too much preparation you can do other than just being you. Man, I am so excited. Uh, first off, I haven't read the manga for Attack on Titan, so I have no idea what happens. So I've been waiting forever to find out what's gonna happen next. Everyone who has read the manga says, I know nothing about this show, which I think they're right. Um, 
And I can't wait to play Kirito again. The concept for the new movie looks incredible. Um, they just released a promo today that everyone should go watch. That gives you a little idea of the direction that Reki is taking this story. And I, I can't wait to see it.